Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. I can't put it like that. I mean, I, I, I've got to put it in that way around. So that one will go there for the bedside table. And then this one can move over. So you can go all the way over there like that. And be moved up against the wall like that. And then I can put that bedside table there like that. So it's up against you. And then I can go with one more bed. So the bedside table just increases the room prestige. I don't have to have it. The jasmine bed. Yeah, I'm going to go with basic beds in this one. Because we're not going to do everything jasmine all the time. Because otherwise it's going to get a bit tedious. Uh, so I'll put that bed in there. And then I'm going to go over this side. Now, can... Right, I've got to be, it's, it's got to be four wide. I've, I've got to bring it out a bit further in order to be able to have extra beds. And I can't put ones in the middle here either. So that's simply not an option here. I need to extend the room. So let's do that a minute. And I will extend, no, I'm, if I don't extend it into that corner, is there anything I can use that corner for? I don't think so. So I will do this, and I'll bring that out there. So we've got that, that ward room is altogether bigger. And then I've got space down here. I don't really know what I'm going to use that for either. Uh, then I will go to the door here and move that one out. And then you will go there, and you... I'm wondering if I could put one of those right in. Uh, I'm not going to put one of those right in there. I'm going to put one of those there. Let's keep that on that, shall we? And then this one. Let's do these beds over this side first. So that one will go up to there. And then you turn round. I can't go that way. I can drop it to there like that. And that one goes right up against it. You spin round and you go there. And then I go for another bedside table, which I can't put there because the changing room's in the way. So I can, however, put it there like that. So it goes that way round on this one. And then we come over here and we go to beds. Now, I cannot put the bed in there, right? I can't do that. I could put the bed here, like that. Take this one here, turn that round, and put that one back up in there out of the way. Take that bed there. Let me spin round a minute, and... That bed can go there. That one can go like that. And then I can take another bedside table. And that should... Nope, that's not going to fit. So the last bedside table will have to go that way round. I've now got four beds on that side. And that's looking pretty good so far. Then I can come over to this side and I can put some more beds in here. I've got the one changing room there. I can put one bed there, and I can put one more bed over here. Let me spin around a minute and put that one there. So we've got six beds in this ward. I could probably squeeze in more beds than that, but I don't intend to do that. I'm going to put you up here, like that, and you up here like that. So we've got six beds in this ward. We've got the changing thing over there. So that gives us a little bit more space to kind of move around and do things here. So then I'm going to put some lockers up in here. And this is the bit that I've got to be careful of. I can't put them too close to those beds. But lockers are important. So I put one there, one there. And I was so hoping I could get an extra locker in. Might be able to put one. No, well, actually, I can. What I'll do 
is I'll take that one and I'll turn that one round and I'll put that one there. And then that locker there will then fit. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. You can move it round. You can pick up the whole room and move. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. That's a handy thing, that is, being able to pick up the whole room and move it. I like that. Now we could do with a bit of colour or something, just to like make things a little bit nicer in here, I think. Uh, we will go with a filing cabinet in there. We will go with some way scales in here as well. They will help. Uh, a big bin. We could do with a bin here. Where, where have you been, mate? Where, where have you been? There's your bin. Now, the problem with a bin is... It's simply not going to fit. I'm going to have to put that right in the middle. That's not really best practice to dump the bin in the middle, is it? Despite the extra room that I've got in here, this is simply not going to work. Uh, let's try the extinguisher. That one doesn't fit in behind there. You can't not have a filing cabinet either. That's just wrong. Fire extinguisher isn't going to fit in there. You know what? That locker is going to have to go. That one there is going to have to go. So then I can at least put a fire extinguisher over here. That one can go there on the wall. So I've got a fire extinguisher in the room. Because it's not going to fit in beside the nurse's station. And then I need a bin. That one is... It can't go there. That bin is going to have to just go there. Sort of right in the middle of the doorway. Yeah, not ideal, but we will put up with it. A nice smelling sanitizer. I got nowhere I think that I can put that. We'll have to put that outside of the ward. That'll have to go on the wall outside. Plants and things like that, they can't go in here either. But what we can do is we can put a load of pictures on the walls. We've got lots of pictures in here, so I can put a food pyramid up there. And we can use pictures to make up the rest of it. We've got a clown poster. We've got a light-headed poster can go over there. Uh, I've got the eight-bitten poster, which I quite like. Uh, that one can go over there. Um, the Rorschach poster. Let's not forget Rorschach. Uh, that one can go in there. And we'll do an eye test poster in there as well. And then Jasmine. Jasmine has got to go in our hospital. Right there, and we'll even put Jasmine's record there as well, even though I've already gone over the level 4 prestige. So there we go. There is that room done. So what I could... Can I copy that in order to sort of use that for the fracture ward? Rooms. Fracture ward here. I mean, I'm assuming that this is going to look altogether different. It's uh, a minimum of a 4 by 3 but I will do that the same as the other one. Let's keep going with this. Put that down like that, and bring that one up there like that. Right, that's already a prestige level 2. And then that one, invalid corner location, so we come out like that. Oh, no, this, this is altogether different things in here. Nurse station. The nurse station is going to work the same. That one's going to go in there. That can tuck into that. How have I done the nurse station over this side? Oh, I see. Right. The nurse station here, that, that would kind of be like that, but no, it, it can work like that. It would be better if it was like that, to be honest. That kind of angle, but it's, it's not able to do that, and you can't sort of invert the the way the nurse station looks. So we're going to have to do it this way. Or put it over into this corner. The bit that I don't like is that the disabled access part is not easily accessible. I could put that there, actually, if... Nope. Nope, that's... we're not doing that. It's going to go over here. Ooh. Could I put the door over there? No, the, the nurse... I'm wondering is, can the nurse's station fit? The, the nurse's station doesn't fit in there. That That's not an option. Right. Okay, as that's not going to be an option, we are going to plonk the nurse's station there into that corner. Um, disabled access will have to be around this side. So we need a traction bed. Oh, <laughs> wow. Look at this thing. That's insane. Right, traction bed over here. 
I'll put that one there. How many of these am I going to want? A plastic caster as well is also needed. We're going to build three of these. Like that. Traction bed. The most technical bed science has to offer. No climbing. Plastic caster. Cast plaster faster. Can you say that? Plastic caster. Cast plaster faster. <laughs> Pla plastic caster. Cast plaster faster. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Right. I need the, 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 the fast plastic caster over here. That one does not fit in there. So we need to twiddle that bad boy around a bit. That one can go there. It does fit there. We don't have the whole changing thing. Radiator. I'm going to need some warmth in this room. Let's not put that one there. I can put some warmth into the room over here. Did I remember to put a radiator in the other ward? I don't remember now. That one can go there. Have I got room for another fracture bed? Traction station. I have. Oh, that's got to go up against the wall. So there's no room for one over that way. I can put one there and then people can still get round it in order to be able to use these things over here. So this is where we're going to be putting the lockers this time. One in there. And one there. I don't have room for three lockers there. But I do have room to put a couple of extra lockers along there. So I've got some lockers. Bedside tables. Hmm. I don't think we'll worry about those. I don't think that's really a big concern. The weighing scales, however, those we can use. We can chuck them into here. Um, if I get rid of... Oop. I didn't want to do that. Didn't mean to do that. Right. Get rid of that one and get rid of that one. And then that one there. I want to get rid of that one. Then I can go to the weighing scales over here and I can swivel them around. And they can be used there. So they're in that corner. I've got everything in here. And yes, it's a little bit of a squeeze here in places. See? It's a little bit of a squeeze here in places. But everything at the moment is able to get all the way through. And then I want to bin. That one can go there on the edge of the desk. That will fit perfectly, actually. The extinguisher can't go underneath there. So that extinguisher, it can go over here, though. That will fit quite nicely. Prestige level three. We're halfway through prestige. If I put a load of pictures on the walls, is that going to help us with prestige? Maybe put a plant in here somewhere. I could put a plant in there. That's not going to hurt in the slightest. Uh, pictures. I can put one there. And I can put a light-headed one. I can put a clown. I'm not going to put one over the window because that's just weird. Uh, eight bitten in there. The Rorschach can go in that side. And then I'll go over here. I, I want more posters. I love this selection of posters that we can do. We've got bronze star awards, silver star awards, dog paint. I've got paintings. There's dog painting. Pointy painting. Dog canvas. Right, so there's quite a few canvases and stuff. Turtle head. It's the posters that I like. It's these here. So I will take a pandemic poster right there and a grey anatomy poster. That one can go in on that side. <laughs> Love is a grey anatomy poster. That's brilliant. Um, and then Jasmine Odyssey. Jasmine, you've got to have a place in our hospital. Where are you going to go? Jasmine's going to go there above the receptionist desk. Receptionist desk. Just a minute. There's a bedpan on her desk. <laughs> on his or her desk. There's a bedpan, <laughs> bedpan on the desk right there. Wall monitor. That'd be good. Increases room prestige and plus 1% treatment power and 1% diagnosis power for that room. Wow. That's quite cool. Is that only available for this type of room, or is that available for any diagnostics room? That extra 1%. 
It seems like it'd be quite a cool thing to have. I don't know. Right. There is the Fracture Ward. I love this. Look at all of the gubbins that we've got on this. All of the gubbins. Gubbins are very important. Gubbins are very cool and very important. So I've got that one there. I've got the Ward and I've got the Fracture Ward. I've not got a lot of space left over this side. I haven't really got anything I can do over there. We've got reception and stuff over here i can't go and put the, the there's no room for a staff room stuck up there there isn't any room for anything in there but unfortunate we'll go with items and we want to go with the radiator right unfortunately this ward is going to be too cold unless i do something about it can i put that on the wall no turn you round. i can pop that one in there and now that room is toasty and what about you? I did indeed forget to put any radiators on the walls in here at all. That one's not going in there. Um, Might be able to put a radiator over here. Right, there's one over there. And I am not able to fit another radiator in here. I could really, really do with putting another radiator in this room. I mean, if I put one out there, is that going to help? It's helped a little bit. If I put one there. That certainly warmed up this bit, but it's not warmed up that bit in there. That's the bit that I need to be warm, is, is that bit in there. I, I can bring a radiator out here like that. I'm going to need to do it. That I'm going to need to do that. Right, thermal comfort of 60%. Is apparently quite important. I'll bring this one over here. And I will go with a radiator right there. And then I won't go with any more just for a second. We need treatment and diagnostics and a few other bits and pieces yet. So let's go back to our rooms. Now, wonderful though our new hospital might be, we've got all this space down here that we're not really going to be able to do very much with, apart from perhaps put some waiting areas or something like that. We may be able to do waiting areas. Uh, we've got our GP's office over here, although potentially we could want a second one of them. But what we'll do first is we'll go into here and we will go for a pharmacy. and We'll drop that one in there. We'll do a 3x3 three three in there with that one. And I will put the door over on this side, like this. And then that bad boy there will go into that corner over there. Then we will put a filing cabinet. You know what? We're going to put one over in that corner there. We want a big bin. Can't put one there. So we'll put one there. We want an extinguisher. That will go right next to it. And we want some nice smelling hand sanitizer, which we can't go and put in here because of the bin and stuff. So we can put it in around there. I'm sort of... It's a shame I can't put it up in here. Like, right there. This it is just out of reach for that bit. But we, we can put it over here, I suppose, next to the filing cabinet. So it is there. It's available to use should we want it. We're going to need a radiator. I'll do the radiator in a minute. I'm going to put a plant in here. That one will go over in the corner next to the window. Let's push the prestige up a little bit. Now, this is a treatment room, so I don't think we need the Rorschach poster. The typical food pyramid, that's, that's a, a really good picture to have. Uh, we'll go with the 8-bitten poster as well. I'll move that one over a bit. There we go. A little, little bit of a gap between the two. And we'll put a couple more over here. We've got the Grey, gray Anatomy. On there, Pandemic. Uh, that one can go right in there like that. And then over on this wall, we will have our usual Jasmine Shrine. I'm just going to do the one. I'm going to spend any more on that. I don't think I need to. One thing that I do want in here, though, is a chair. I will just do that so that... I've got somewhere for the nurse to sit while she's in here. So that one will do very nicely there. There is that room. Now, we've got to decide how we're going to do the rest. Like, I've got that room there. There's a good, a good, good, good one to start with. General diagnosis. That's got to be a three by three. 
So now the question is, where do I put it? Because if I go three by three, it goes out to there, across there. So we need to, we'll have to put it across like this. I think that'll be all right, actually, because this is like a, a, a smaller room going back over there. So that will actually be okay. And I, like... Unfortunately, I do have to go with center hospital quite a lot, so I'm, I'm familiar with quite a bit of how hospitals are laid out. And trust me, having little tiny corridors like that is absolutely not unusual in the slightest. It's, it's the sort of thing that you expect to see half the time. Um, there are all sorts of weird places where they have mine, like tiny, tiny little corridors and... Like they have just about everybody going through them, right? You, you do get a lot of people traveling along these corridors, and you look at them and you think, well, they, they, they really are too small for that. Now, for this room, the diagnosis, we are going to be putting in the eye test poster, and we want the Rorschach poster in it as well, although that really is um, something different. Um, as the psychiatry rather than that. And we'll do the food, and we'll do the light-headed over there, and then over this side, we will go back to our Jasmine poster in there like that. And general diagnosis is complete, apart from my obligatory chair that I like to put in. Uh, I'm going to put that one back in there so there is somewhere for the nurse to sit. Right. Now, I've got to remember, I do need to do the radiators. So now I'm going to go to items. And the reason I want to do it like this is because when I do it like this... I'm able to see where the temperatures are. I, I can sort of get a, a better idea for where temperatures are rising and falling and, and so on. So what I think we're going to do here is I'm going to put a radiator there close to where that plant is. And that's going to heat that room up. And then this one over this side... Uh... I was actually thinking it would be out on that side, but no, I won't. I'll just put this one down here. That one can go against that wall. That's going to put a reasonable amount of warmth in across. If I put a radiator over here, I'm thinking actually not on the narrow part of the corridor. I don't think that would be a sensible move. We'll put one in there. So that's got that lovely and toasty in there. It's it's warm all the way through here now. That's, that's looking pretty good. Now what we can do is we can start expanding out a little bit. We can go with the benches. And I can put a couple of them down here. Because like I said, I wanted a waiting room area sort of thing going on down here. So there's my waiting room area thingy going on down here. And I'll also put some of these in. Because this is the sort of thing that you would find in a hospital. Trust me on this. You get snack machines in the most peculiar of locations. You really do. And I'll put a bin up there next to that one. And then we will put a fire extinguisher in there as well. And... Uh, a plant. Yes, we, we will put the plant in. Like you, you get plants turning up in peculiar locations in hospitals. At least in my experience. And... Then we want to put a few posters around. Now, the Rorschach and the eye test, you wouldn't see them, but you do see posters kicking around, informational sort of posters, especially near where you've got any kind of waiting room. So if I was to put... All right, it can't go above that one, but it can go above the bin there like that. So I, I kind of want... I'm going to put the Jasmine poster above the bin like that because it fits better. And then over here, we'll put the Pandemic one up. And the grey anatomy. There, like that. Don't think I'll put any more than that. Oh, no, we could put a couple over here as well. So we've got the 8-bitten. Yeah. I haven't got that one yet. We'll put the 8-bitten on there. And I haven't got the clown one. So we'll put the clown one up. Right there. Right. So there's a little waiting area that we've got back there. That's going to work very nicely. That's, that's going to work very well. And then we can go back to rooms. So at the moment, I'm going to get rid of that. At the moment, we have got the pharmacy. We've got the di general diagnosis room. We've got a fracture ward. We've got toilets. We've got a GP's office and we've got a general ward. Those are the ones that we're kicking around with at the moment. Did I put a radiator? Yeah, I did put a radiator in over there. All right. Uh, 
so next up with rooms i've got those psychiatry would be a really good one to have a staff room i mustn't forget to put in a staff room it's easy to neglect the staff and actually the staff room is one that would fit down here this is the ideal location for a staff room because that can be smaller that one is a three by two so i can bring that one up we can leave a little bit of a gap there and then i can run this one along here and that will run the length of the ward like that and i won't bring it up into this bit i'll leave a small area right there and that door will go there like that. So it just sort of moves it back out of the way. And I'll put a sofa there. A sofa there. And another one down there. Right. Staff room, prestige level two. Then we will go with a drinks machine. And we'll go with a snack machine as well. We'll put a big bin right in next to it and an extinguisher in next to that one. Um, I'm not worry about the hand sanitizer. However, I will do a radiator in here and that one can't go there. Can it, go? it can go there. Perfect. That is excellent. That will go in nicely. And I'll put a yucca plant over here in the corner like this. We will take a rug and we will put that in. That's going to make it look nice in here. We'll actually put two of these. I'll put one there and another one there. And I'll just put my prestige all the way up. We're not going to put posters and stuff in here. It's a place for them to chill out and relax. We've got posters everywhere else. Right, so there we've got a little bit of space that comes in through. I've got... A bit of a waiting area that I can make down over this side. So if I go to items here, I spin that round. I can put a seat there for waiting area for that one. I can't put one in there, but I can put one there. It's not crammed right into the corner. Don't think I've got room to put... No, I haven't got room to put one in there. Uh, but... Right, well, the, the big thing I was thinking about was perhaps being able to put one in here, but there isn't really room to get people... I mean, we could put a, we could put one here, but I don't think it's needed. We've got some seats over there. I don't think we need to have any more than that. So we'll leave that bit for a minute. Then we're going to be looking at... We'll come over to this side. I've got some more room for things over here. So we want rooms... We've done reception. We've got the GP's office, the pharmacy, a general diagnosis. I haven't got cardiology. Making sick people run could produce some interesting and maybe even useful results. I haven't had a request for cardiology yet, though. We've got the ward. Psychiatry is almost definitely something that we're going to want. And then we've got these various other ones down here. Research and training. I should probably be looking at putting those in. Psychiatry, I'm going to put in. I'm definitely going to include psychiatry. So I've got room for some of it over here. And we've also got room for some of it over here. So psychiatry is going to go into the corner. It's got to be a 3x3. Three three. So that one's going to go there. And then we will do the usual with this one. We will pop that one there. And we will pop that one over there. We will put in some filing cabinets for this one. One and two in there. I've got a standard bookcase even if i don't have a special bookcase we will put a plant in. well i think that's quite enough care and loving attention inflicted upon the patients from myself for today so we will return next time in the meantime if you have enjoyed this episode then could you please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.